this is you know, undoubtedly sig signifies fallout that has been transported into the area over the jet stream. Now let me take a reading off the back side of this towel. And this is again where I concentrated on the wiping, cleaning more with one pressure on one finger. So let's see how much more comes to the back side here. And just because that reading was so high, I'm once again going to go over to the far side of the truck. Maybe I'll do it on this side so you can see it better. So right now this is blocking all alpha because it's having to come through from the far side of the paper towel into uh, the receptor. So basically, you know, there may still be some alpha for some water that's absorbed on this side, but the uh, majority of the alpha is being blocked. Some of the lower energy level betas may be being blocked. All right. We're going higher. Here, we'll pull back off. Get the. You know, it takes a minute or two to slow down because again, it's a 30-second moving average. Here's a fresh paper towel I got, and you can tell from the from the readings there, there's not much activity. And if you get here where I wipe the fender, I'm going to concentrate it on one finger spot in here until so that spot gets wet. This side is dirty. Get up here. A little bit. Get some off the windshield. This is relatively dry except for the spot where I just took the sample off of. Still the most amazing thing about this one is how far away from the surface of the truck, I was able to start picking up uh, radioactivity. Forty-three times background. Forty-five times background. Forty-six, forty-seven times background. Yeah, I'm going to go back to the, oh, this time I'm going I'm to take a sample off of the very top of the truck. I will say this is the most concerning radioactive rainfall we've had yet. held it 45 times. This is off of the, it's pretty wet, this is off the roof of the truck. And back for one more sample on the other side of the truck where the, the highest readings come from yet.
What's that one get back to? Mm, point two. Okay. Roughly. Maybe because of the greater water amount on that side. This is from the passenger side hood and grill area. You won't hear about on uh, other sites like UC Berkeley and other things is they specifically avoid testing uh, initial rainwater. And that's uh, part of it is I'm, I figure they're afraid what they're going to find out, but I'm going to blog about that in a little while. But the, uh, yeah, there's a good possibility that a lot of the radioactivity coming out of Fukushima is. Uh, coming from sources that uh, places like Berkeley would otherwise describe as quote-unquote natural. I tend to think that, uh, well, I'll get it out into a blog later on. This is 45 times. All right, so let's go back to the one that was the hottest. And this was, I think that was it. Okay, this one was supposed to be the What? The, the one with the one finger. Yeah. The one finger wipe. This is the one that was the hottest. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to get a piece of wood that wouldn't stick. Six times background. Forty-seven. Forty-eight. And again, I say this often, but it's good to know. This is a thirty-second moving average. So every update every three seconds. So it looks like the spot where I'm getting now is gonna unless I keep it on the long term is gonna top out right around forty-eight times background. And what I'm going to do here is I'm going to cover that spot, see if I can get most of it. this one inch piece of wood. And that should block pretty much everything but gamma. So I'd say there's little in the way of gamma radiation that's coming through this. This is all very energetic beta. I'm going to hold up off of it. Yeah. 
very energetic beta and uh, alpha. Probably should be wearing masks right about now with all the alpha particles floating through the air. So we're at eight times background at this distance from this talent. This is the strongest indication of radioactivity that I've had yet since uh, Fukushima. Let's get back on over here. And just to, so you see what's on here and how wet this towel is. You can see where it's slipped through. So I'm going to do one sheet thick here. It's just scary how many people are out in this weather, driving through this weather, and that are inhaling these particles. I wish we had to inhale them. Worse yet is being in this rain and absorbing this through your skin. four times background from just the one little sheet of this guy. Let's see if we can fold it back up. Yeah. I guess we're gonna have to call it quits here in a minute, otherwise this will be a 20 minute video. We do there six minutes again. Wow, we're already at 20 minutes. 26. 27. Wow. My pants are not I got what you That's not good. I'll finish up here. That's where we're going to leave it at for this evening. This shouldn't give you uh, nightmares tonight. I don't know what we're going to do.